Beganagasig School in Bina doesn't forget about staff and students who've passed away over the years. They honor them with a memorial feast. Haiti Clatter shows us how a meal is also a form of remembrance. Ron Wakanabo remembers it like it was yesterday, but the date was November 19, 1985. On that day, his life changed forever. She was delivering her school pictures that day. Here it is. Never made it to our house. School bus killed her right in front of our house. It's just something that we do traditionally. Like, we got to go to this because the baby would, you know, she, if she were here, we wouldn't have to be here. While Buganagishig is wrapping up the school year, staff, students, and families look ahead to the future, but they also remember those who aren't physically here. Just a nice time to get together and remember families and friends and fa family members that have passed on. About 50 people were in the gym for a memorial feast to honor staff and students who passed away and attended the school. This year, 17 names were added, which is more than the usual. All of us will have our, our picture and our, you know, Hopefully there'll be others to remember us as well. Families will also receive a tobacco tie created by students that represents a symbol of unity between the people and the creator. Tobacco ties are made of cedar and then red cloth with tobacco, and loose tobacco inside. Um, tobacco is used by traditional Anishinaabe people um, in prayer. For some families, this feast is also a way to alleviate some of the pain in losing someone. It's what we do in community, and when we lose a loved one, we'll have a feast for them. And that brings a lot of um, good comfort to the family, knowing that even though our loved one is gone, we still have them in our hearts and our minds. In Bina, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. In the school's 42-year history, they've held several of these memorial feasts, but not always every year. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.